hello friends so here is another question on pos uh, four variable don't care condition k map so we have this pos expression given in terms of the max term values and the don't care values and uh, so we'll map the values and then form the groups and then identify the common variables to uh, write the simplified boolean expression so the max term values are 1 8 15 okay 1 8 and 15 and the don't care values are 4 5 9 and 14 okay so now we have to form the groups so here we can form a pair involving cells 8 and 9 then involving cells 14 and 15 we can form another pair then 1 and 5 we can form another pair this will be left behind no need to form a group now we have to identify the common variables for this pair here a bar or b is common in the horizontal side and the vertical side c so it is a bar or b or c then for this pair a bar or b bar on the horizontal side or c bar on the vertical side a bar or b bar or c bar next for this pair c or d bar on the vertical side and the horizontal side a a or c or d bar a or c or d bar so this is the simplified boolean expression for this max term values and the don't care values so here as you can see the x mark cells they are helping in group formations along with the zero the max term values the zero mark cells but it is not necessary to group all the x mark cells okay so here is another question on the four variable don't care condition pos k map so here we have the max term values the don't care values so map them first so 4 5 6 7 8 12 the max term values 4 5 6 7 8 and 12 okay and then the don't care values 1 2 3 9 then 11 then 14 okay so now we have to form the groups so first what we can do is these four zero marked cells four five seven six will form a quad okay and then these two zero marked cells eight and twelve will form a pair so you see all the zero marked cells have been covered and here another interesting thing is that in the group formation process the x mark cells are not involved okay none of the x mark cells are involved so no need to form any groups we'll simply leave them behind now the two groups one quad one pair will identify the common variables in this quad here the horizontal side a or b bar that is the common variable because nothing is common on the vertical side and on for this pair in the horizontal side we have a bar common in the vertical side we have c or d common so this is the simplified boolean expression okay a or b bar and b uh, a bar or c or d this is the simplified boolean expression 